How's it going? Hope you're having a great day. So today I want to talk about the printing brightness on the Fuji Instax Evo. So by default, it's just a standard print mode. It's actually too dark. I found this out pretty quickly. Um, I'll, I'll post the scans as well. But so this is this is a harsh lighting condition for a, for an Instax camera in general. But that's the whole purpose of this. So this was the normal printing setting. And there was a bright setting and a brightest setting. So this is the second setting. And then this is the one at the brightest setting. So I'll show you the, see if you can at least notice in this. So the dark one, you can't, you actually can't see any of the background. I'm like, the side of my face and my hair just blended to pure dark and this you can actually see the wall in the background and you can see like the outline of my hair and all that so it's a big difference i'm sure there's probably you can change if you if you have a bright photo to change it to darker or not bright however setting but i'm going to generally keep it on brightest and then adjust from there that's that's the great thing about the fuji instax evo but i did bust out the old scanner and here are the full scans, uh, disclaimer, um, I need to clean my scanner apparently, and I didn't do any editing to these photos. And I do want to mention you're shooting on an SD card and you can send the photo to your phone. Um, set, sending the photo to your phone from the camera to the app is, is super low quality, so I don't even recommend that. But you do have an SD card, but I think the beauty of, of, of this camera and, and Instax in general is having the print of it, for one, to have the print, but two, to get that, that extra feel of an instant photo. I think if at that point of just using the SD card version, you're shooting a lower quality digital photo. I think getting it printed, having whatever artifacts might come about from the printing, and then scanning it is the way to go for sure. And I'm sure there's no continuity in this lighting and what's on the tables around me because I'm filming this soon after I filmed this previous footage, but I forgot to say in the video which print mode I would choose, and it probably does matter on the scene, but I think a good role would be not the standard one, have the bright version. I think the brightest, the brightest actually works fine, it doesn't look terrible, but from the comparison to what you're shooting and all that, that at least the lighting matches up pretty good with the, the mid, version of the brightness so but yeah you definitely want to if you're looking for the, the full effect of uh, instant photo i think the way of doing it is for sure printing it and then scanning it or printing it and taking the photo into your phone now that i have this and my plans going forward with instax and this new camera is i want to scan everything just because you can do it on your phone but dealing with glares and trying to get it just takes time but yeah i just wanted to mention that because obviously it's a good reason to watch this video is to figure out my opinion on which one to print from. Here are the examples of the printing brightness after they are scanned. I'll definitely be making more videos about the Fuji Instax Evo. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.